keyboard player who gets bored of just using piano and a few basic sounds? Would you like to create some new parts that add texture, melodic interest and creativity into your playing? Introducing advanced keyboards in worship from Music Academy. This four hour, two volume instructional DVD set is designed for players who want to learn some great parts to well known worship songs and discover how to use more keyboard sounds effectively in worship. Each two hour DVD set contains 10 in depth instructional lessons showing you how to play all the keyboard layers to 10 songs on our acclaimed Worship Backing Band series. And the piano here splits into arpeggios. So we're going to have a look at the voicings for these chords. You can be slightly flexible, but it's a good idea to try and imitate the sort of voicings we hear on this kind of backing track. You also get two versions of every song on backing track with on-screen chord charts. One with the keys parts high in the mix, and the other with no keyboards, so you can copy, learn and practice, and you won't miss a note. Advanced keyboards in worship is not really about playing the fastest or the most technically demanding parts, but it's about playing with taste, creativity and well-executed parts that helps us make the most of the different sounds on our keyboard. By following these DVDs, you'll pick up some great new skills too, like how to use Hammond organ. In this case, for this song, I've got a setting which is 888 and then six zeros. That's actually probably the most common registration for a Hammond organ. How to make strings and pads sound authentic. You are my everything. I will sing your praise. How to reproduce synth sounds. You could substitute it with an organ. If you have something that will do it, you could just use the percussion settings of an organ to come up with this kind of sound. Maybe one very quiet drawbar. Some wonderful new piano chord voicings. There in the ground, his body lay, light of the world by darkness. Using riffs to develop effective parts. and back down to our B flat. Let's just go through those arpeggios. Understand and use modulation effects and delays. It's important that it's set to quavers to have this kind of effect, as that's what we're looking for. The notes that you're on here are A and E. How to use layers if you have more than one keyboard player. to replicate time sync effects live. So just playing the chords and hearing the movement in the sound. Create melodic interest within the lines you play. And importantly, how to avoid when being too busy and knowing when not to play. And we just wait here. There are at least two or three keyboard layers for every song which have been created by top Christian session musicians, giving you some really tasteful and creative parts that sit perfectly in the mix and enhance your sound. So to learn some great keys parts to worship songs, get advanced keyboards in worship from musicademy.com.